So hi everybody, welcome back to the Intern Queen YouTube channel. Get excited, we are at the Academy of Country Music today. It's pretty cool, right? And I'm here with Eric, who is in charge of the internship program here. And I know this is an internship that a lot of our viewers would die to get. So welcome. Yeah, so can you tell everybody what the Academy of Country Music is and does and all of that. Sure, the ACM was founded in the 60s to represent country music on the West Coast. So we do the same thing as some other organizations, but we have an award show in Las Vegas in April. That a lot of people might know about. That's true, the ACM Awards on CBS. Um, and what we do is we have an internship program to help us support that. So uh, January through April, we do uh, a whole slew of different internships uh, to help us with the award show. Can you talk a little bit about the different positions that exist for people who actually yeah, sure. have careers here? There's so many. That's why I, I yeah. honestly, I really, really love our internship program because yeah. we are hands on. Uh, and we get a lot of feedback afterwards that people love that they've had so much hands-on experience. Uh, we have everything from uh, event management, operations, administration, there's a little bit of finance in there, editing, shooting, video, marketing, PR. So, cool. so it's really, uh, we have a nonprofit, uh, ACM Lifting Lives is our, our charity. We have someone who helps with that too. So it's pretty amazing. It's pretty broad spectrum. Wow, that's amazing. And for any of our viewers that don't know, we actually have two Intern Queen family members, Maddie and Lonnie, who both started as interns here. And today, years later, they're they're working here. That's true. Um, yeah. Which is pretty cool. So can you talk to me a little bit? Yeah, well, people like Maddie and Lonnie, what kind of characteristics did they have as interns to make you say, wow? Well, I can't you know, say, yeah, I can't say enough about this. Literally, and, and they're two good examples, but we have a lot of interns who do the same thing. It is literally willing to do whatever it takes. Right. And that sounds dramatic, but it is getting in there and getting active and, and making things happen for you, but also for the company they're working for. Yeah. Now, the question everybody wants to know, do the interns get to go to the award show? Uh, do they get to go? Yeah, for sure. They're actually there in the arena when it's happening. So, Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're, they're like working the event. 100%. Oh, 100%. amazing. So yeah. you got to paint that picture. Like, what's it like? Like, I show up at what, the MGM or something yeah. huge in Vegas. It's, I mean, it's it's a 10-day period for us. So we wow. spend 10 days in Vegas getting ready for the show. They're, the interns are in the thick of it, like in wow. it all all day long. Yeah, it's amazing. That's so cool. Amazing. And then I guess stepping back, looking at the music industry in general, what are some of the qualities that you think people need to kind of make it here? Um, I, I would say flexibility, um, flexibility. accountability, mm -hmm. and really honestly, a positive attitude. I hate to say that, but it's amazing how many people come in with a, eh, I'm not really sure, you know, just to have a positive attitude. The, the, the amount of internships and the variety that we have and what um, I'm so proud that what people have gone on to mm -hmm. is really amazing. You know, right. it's artist management, it's finance, it's actually producing their own events. Uh, it really is amazing. Shooting, uh, editing video, their own production houses. So it's really amazing what uh, people go on to after the internships here. I feel like I have so many more questions for you. So, okay, my, <laughs> my wheels are turning. So um, let's talk about the event planning aspect yeah. of this because yeah, Yes, it's music and it's country music and it's so cool, but it's also a lot of logistics, right? The best way to describe it is CBS and Dick Clark Productions uh, handle what's on stage, so mm -hmm. physically on the stage, shooting to CBS and, and going live. The second they walk off the stage, then it's our team. Wow. So we have the after parties, the pre parties, and we have charity events all the entire week before the award show. We do food and beverage, logistics, transportation, security. All of those things make up one the one big event. And then we have 13, 18 events in 13 venues all over Las Vegas happening wow. all at the same time. So yeah. I remember my first job was as an assistant at CAA. And I, I'd had so many internships, I thought I was ready, and I was just not detail oriented. And when you work in any sort of planning and definitely in events, can yeah. you talk a little bit about that need to be detail oriented? It, it is, it's really important. And I hate to say it, but like Microsoft Excel, like that's that's a that's going to be a key component to being key, organized, is, right. you know, and little things like using a calendar on Outlook, mm -hmm. like just those kind of simple things that you may have skipped over or don't have a lot of, you know, right uh, experience experience with. with, yeah, for sure. 
A lot of students come up to me after I, I, I do a lot of college speaking, so I'll speak, I'll get everybody pumped about internships, and then they'll come up and say, for example, I'm a huge country music fan, I'm obsessed with, well, for, if it were me, I'd say Taylor Swift, whoever, right? And they want to know how can they write you a cover letter that shows that they're passionate but doesn't scare you away. So I, I hate to say this, but get the name of the company right. Like yes, that's gonna no, be number one. I agree. I've seen like that. I yeah. get, there's a lot of different country music organizations out there, but try to get it right. But catch my eye. Like in a cover letter, there are a lot of form cover letters. Make sure it's well formatted and use a line or two that lets that lets me know that you know our award show, right. that you know the ACM. You know what that's, you're applying to. Yeah, that's really important. And I, it's unbelievable how many people I've had to weed out because they don't. And they're doing a form letter, they're sending out 50 applications, and I get that. I want an internship too, you know? But I, you gotta make sure that you know you know your product, you know you know what's going on. I'm not saying be cheesy, right. but I'm just saying, you know, be a little bit different. So, so it catches my eye, yeah. So if I emailed you an internship application and in the subject line I put like, we are never ever getting back together. <laughs> no, see, which, I, would you respond? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm dead serious. I would remember you. Yeah. Whether it's good or bad, that's going to catch my eyes. I like catch it. my eye, and I would remember you. Yeah, you're right. And we're going to go through your different. resume. Your resume has to back it up, right? Yeah. Like you can't just do the funny, cutesy thing right. to start off with. You got to back it up. But I had someone literally send me a video with her introducing herself at the ACM Awards, and oh, I was that's like. I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, we'll see. And then her resume backed it up. Right. And she became no, one of her you, interns. You're you know, right. So. I, that's a great point, though, that you can you can have fun with it and you can be a little cheesy yeah. sometimes if you have the resume and the experience to really back 100%. it up. 100%. So I really like that piece of advice. So, Eric, I yeah. hear that you ask some tricky interview questions. Can you give me about. give me an example of one? Uh, yeah, we, we look, part of the interview is to understand what someone's like and if they're gonna fit in here at the ACM. And one of the questions that we do ask, because country music fans are, 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 are avid. and they They're love, excited, they, yes, a little excited. They love their country <laughs> music. But I ask, hey, if you're backstage and you're sitting next to your favorite country music artist, how do you react, what do you do, what do you say? And that reaction on the phone is really important because we want someone who likes country music but is not gonna go kind of bananas when they have their favorite artist next right. to them. Right, you want yeah. someone that can keep it together totally. when the pressure's on and they're totally. on the job. And and, and we have other fun questions too. We do that on purpose because I want to get their reaction. Right. You know, half their reaction is click on their feet and how do they answer questions. So. Yeah, so our viewers need to remember that though. So yeah. if you're applying for these internships that are high profile where you might be around different celebrities, you got to stay together, right? And you want to sure. make sure that you portray that to the person that's interviewing you. And then finally, so explain the timeline of the internship program. I know we post your internships on Intern Queen, but paint the picture for us like when should students apply when do they actually come in we do september october so just keep watching our website but september october for the applications we're usually done and solid by thanksgiving okay. so that we know first of the year and these are interns that are coming in january through yeah. about may early january to early may okay. uh, late april Students should apply for this opportunity in the fall time frame, yeah. and then this would be something they would do in the spring. And then do you ever have, well, I know that you've had students because I know both Maddie and Lonnie went to Syracuse and Ithaca, so I know you have students from across the country, but talk to me a little bit about that. If, if I'm a student going to school at Mizzou um, and I want to do this internship, no. how have students made that work? Uh, I mean, it's a number of different things. Like some of the programs, Ithaca and Syracuse, happen right. to have programs Have the in intern Los in Angeles. LA programs, right. Um, if you don't, we actually have some resources that we can help you with housing and all sorts of different things to get you acclimated to Los Angeles because we we love people from all over the country yeah. um, and we've had quite a few you know uh, interns from all over the country so yeah great all right great well you heard it right here uh, check the ACM website and also check intern queen for the next round of internships um, I know the applications will open soon and Eric thanks so much oh gosh, thanks for having me yeah this Appreciate is great it. bye everybody